So this section here, uh, double jumping up, you basically can double jump up to this. And you can atomize her from here to there, but the double jump here, it's so similar, it doesn't really matter. These can be double jumped over. Uh, usually, when you're pushing in through here, if you are pushing in through here, you want to jump over here because you're less likely to be seen. Uh, if you know the enemy sees you, you might as well do something like annoying than just kind of like try to get up there or just escape. But you can double jump on top of those. So this section here, uh, you can just straight up double jump onto this, which allows you to run along either side of the fence. This fence is, this side's a little bit harder to run along, but getting back here is useful for fighting things, ambushing things, maybe they don't see you. There is an extremely useful thing here. Uh, you can get on top of this from a double jump. This is a very good ambush spot for offense. Enemies commonly run through here, especially with Uber. You can wait on Uber and then pick them. Uh, you can also get on here with the atomizer. There is a skybox. You can see I'm hitting it. If you jump out, you can clear the skybox. The skybox ends around here. So you want to jump out and then atomizer. You can get on top of here. Getting on top of here is extremely useful. Also note, if a sentry is right here, you can still get up here safely. Like, obviously, if you go up here, the sentry is going to hit you and kill you. However, you can hug this. Jump over to here, get up here, and then you're up. And I believe this is all double jumpable too. Yeah. It's just you need the atomizer to get on the fence. And you also have to clear that um, skybox. So you want to jump like that. There we go. Alright. But it's on for the video, but... Yeah, you can get up here, fight some dudes. You can sneak up here too. So like if there's a, like, if there's no sentry and there's a combo, you can sneak up here. It's pretty useful. You can make it to this fence. You just have to time your jumps. And you can also make it back. Keep in mind when you're on your way back, you can hit this. So you have to time your first jump. Let you like let yourself fall a bit and then jump and jump again. Alright, so this area right here, this is really useful. Because you can get up to the fence. So this is the second point where you can get onto the fence with the atomizer. So you can atomize here, and then of course, you're up here, and now you're up really high. So very useful point there. Uh, also, this area, you can just straight up double jump onto the lip here. You can alternatively atomize from this low point. You can double jump here, you can go up here, You can go on this, I just burned my jump too fast, so. This guy has a lot of mobility in this area here. A lot of options for surfaces to jump to. Pretty useful area. Unfortunately, usually in most matches, you're not in this region for too long, so it's not the most useful thing. You can also hide here on defense. Hide here on defense. Pretty useful. You can atomize up this. You just have to time it and then crouch. You can double jump on top of this, and then double jump up here. This is really useful. I don't think you can go on that pipe, but you can go on this, you can go on that. There's also a little ambush spot right here. This can be useful in offense or defense, depending on where enemies are at. You can double jump to it, but it's kind of hard to pull off because you have to clear this. So you kind of have to like jump at like the exact right time. Actually, let's try that. You're better off atomizing it, but you can't double jump it. So you grab this little corner here. So you can double jump to that. Just requires some finesse. Or you can just say fuck it and atomize it. <laughs> which is like the best thing to do. You can atomize up this, which is nice. This is pretty useful. Uh, this area has a few things. This, These barrels are insane. You can atomize to anything from here. You atomize to that. It's all the same... Uh, height so you can atomize this as well so that's for offense and then for defense you can atomize this so if you want to surprise some enemies all right that's not physical just checking just making sure i'm not missing anything Ooh, this is nice this is a nice ambush spot <laughs> for defense 
that can go on that. Um, you can always drop down. Let's see, you can go on this. That's kind of cool. You can go up here. This can be a useful ambush spot for offense. You drop down, you like go up here. You know, enemy doesn't see you, and then all of a sudden they're, they're you know, getting jumped by a scout. You can go up here as well. It's a little darker. You can, it'll only crouch though. You can stand up over here. You crouch over, like over here because of the low ceiling. You can go over here. Note this is physical. So if you're trying to jump on these barrels, it'll get in your way. This is also physical. You can't go underneath it. You slide down it. Uh, but you can easily jump up here from there. Alternatively, I think you can just atomize up that actually. Yeah, you can just atomize from ground level. And this can be useful because, like, if an enemy's watching this, like here, you can sneak up here, and then they have no idea. And then you can, like, you know, do that, get a shot off on them. This area is weird. You cannot go higher than this level. Like, you can't get into this. There's, like, invisible... Imagine there being invisible, like, a collision here and here. You can't pass that. You can atomize this. This little point here. You can't go over there. It pushes you off. So you can get up from these, these barrels to here. This can be useful for sneaking in, ambushing. So there's a few different options. You can atomize there to there. Uh, you can atomize here to here, then jump over to here. Uh, you can atomize from here to any of this, which is extremely useful for pushing if their sentries are down, especially if they're holding this and they don't know you're over here and then you just push them. So you can push either side depending on where the enemies are put, like paying attention. Pretty useful stuff. Uh, I don't believe you can go on here. Not that it's, it'd be useful anyways, but... Oh shit, you can go up here? Yo, this is actually a pretty interesting spot. You can run up here too. That's actually pretty interesting. That's so far away. This is so high up and hidden. This is pretty. This is a pretty good ambush spot for like hiding. Like let's say, uh, you know enemies are gonna be pushing up here. Oops, you have to like kind of do it quickly though. There's like all these little low ceiling things, but this actually is a good spot. This kind of block spam that you can just drop down. That's actually interesting. All right, and then of course there's this. This is probably their best bet. So like enemies are coming up here. You can like double jump out of their sight line and kind of just like do this. So that like when they're coming through, they don't even see your feet. Because if you're in the corner jumping, you're higher up. So that's a good ambush spot. Uh, you can get on this just barely. Uh, this really isn't super useful. Maybe for something like this kind of type of ambush. I don't think you can get up there. All right, this part here, there's some interesting stuff about this. Any slope, you slide up. So if I jump into this, so here's double jump height. Then here's me sliding into this and double jumping. It actually gets me on top of this. And you can stand on that one, but not these. But you can double jump up this, stand on this, and then double jump from there. So this is kind of like a shortcut. Alternatively, you can atomize any of this. Because of the slide up, you get an extra elevation boost. And you can atomize up all of it, which is very useful because, like, having to reroute to, like, this and coming up here instead of just, like, doing this, it's a little bit faster. And situationally, you'd want to use one or the other, depending on what's going on. Uh, you can also atomize to here. You can't go in, but if there's a sniper... You can surprise them. They might body shot you for full, for lethal damage, but if they just scoped in, it's unlikely they'll headshot you that close. Unless they're really good, but it's, it's unlikely. Uh, of course, you can double jump to this, to there. Just keep in mind that. And then, of course, there's stuff like this. Uh, you can atomize like this. And then you can also jump over here atomize this. This is extremely useful for pushing. You can double jump on these surfaces. It'd be harder to hit. Stuff like that. Alright, down here. This one's worth mentioning. Uh, let's say you don't want to run straight up this. Let's say you, the enemy doesn't see you. You can kind of do this. Like, double jump, and then you skip all this section of the stairs. So, like, if you run like this, and there's a dude watching this, he'll see you. Uh, but if you sneak in... And he doesn't know you're there. You can see him through the cracks. And then when he's not watching it, then you can sneak in. 
Especially if like a teammate jumps up, you can coordinate with a teammate, something like that. Pretty useful. All right, this area over here, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of useful things. Uh, the first one is that you can double jump on this sign and get up. So that's pretty good. And then you can also just atomize straight up this. This stuff you can't go on. It's all physical. Can't go on it. Uh, you can go on this stuff though. You can double jump up here. You can jump to here. You can double jump to this. Now you can atomize from here. Very useful. Extremely useful jump. However, if you don't have atomizer or don't don't run it, you can double jump onto this and then get to over to here this way. So you have two options. You have an atomizer jump and then you have a double jump. You can, you can atomize up to this though. You can't you have to jump to there first. So you could always atomize here and then like wrap around this way. This is the this is probably the safest way over here because if you think about it in terms of sniper sight lines, once this changes when you cap that point. You know, shoot the sniper, shoot the sniper, atomize out of sight lines, and then you're in. And then you can completely bypass all the sniper sight lines. And then from here, you have options too. Uh, this jump, I actually really like this jump. You can go one, two, three, and now you're over here. So if the enemy sniper takes a shot, you can sneak in. If there's a sentry nest in there, but not out here, you can take this route. And then of course it works in reverse too. Pretty useful. Uh, this you can double jump up if you want It's not the craziest. There's not too much over here. I, I would avoid this area as a scout There's usually like soldiers and demos. And it's pretty difficult to push up this safely without eating spam or dying. This is an atomizer jump This lamp is physical. You will slide right up it. You however cannot atomize Like this. It's just not enough uh, height and distance So you need to use that lamp alternatively this is another atomizer jump. Get on this fence. You can double jump from the fence to this corner, but you're better off just atomizing it just to easily get up it. But that's two ways of climbing this. This cannot be double jumped, but you can atomize or jump it, which is very useful for if enemies are pushing. You want to quickly get to safety. Grab high ground. Uh, there's also this you can jump to here so like let's say an enemy uber is coming down this right you can double jump to this pull your atomizer then double and then triple jump to here so you double jump up elevation on the sign and then triple jump over to here it's pretty useful yeah, you can definitely make that yeah, i guess you just jump from there you're fine and of course there's always like this okay and then over here this is really useful you can jump to this. So you can like fight projectile classes, be really annoying, and then of course make use of this. Then you can also climb. Pretty useful to do. Uh, from here, one thing I haven't tried. I don't think you can make that. You can land on these pipes though, which is nice. Just kind of random. Uh, I'm curious to see I think you can atomize from here. Yeah. All right, and then in here, you can't double jump this, but you can double jump this. Takes some finesse, takes some getting used to. You need momentum, but you can do it. Uh, you can atomize this, you can atomize this. You can double jump to here, double jump to here, double jump here you can also move between these pretty freely this one's not physical this one's physical that one's physical that one's physical make sure you land fully for double jumping again kind of play on these but obviously when there's a sentry up pretty dangerous to do so and then you can land this double jump You have to time it. You have to really space it out. Obviously, it's easier to atomize, but that is possible. There's this as well. Getting up here. It's kind of a neat little thing on defense. Especially if you wait for a few enemies to push in and just start shooting them. It's kind of weird. You can atomize up it as well. There's this jump. Very standard. 
atomized version, maybe a little bit higher. You can stand on these. This is a secret jump. You can jump from there to there to here. Snipers and medics and things can take this. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty much it for this one. I think I covered all the big jumps. Uh, all the, like the little weird atomizer jumps. Especially like some of the more important ones. Uh, but yeah, definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one.